All right, I think we are live here. Hello and welcome back. I hope you guys are having a wonderful Thursday afternoon. It's about 3 p.m. on Arizona time here. Uh, by the way, if you're joining us for the first time, welcome to live streaming. Okay. Before we move on, uh, let's check the sound first. Make sure we have the sound here. Before we move on, uh, let's check. Yeah, we have the sound. Okay, video is okay. The lighting is questionable. Okay, always. I think I got the best lighting about eight o'clock, eight between eight and nine in the morning. I got the natural light coming in from the window, so but um, except the lighting, uh, we do have a decent sound. Video quality is at like I think it's like 540, 560 or something, 560 uh, p. Okay, it's not even 1080p or 720. Okay, I think we are below that, but hey, it's all right. Okay, it's okay. Uh, look like Jesse is in the live chat as well. Shout out to Jesse. We got a few people watching. Okay, we got a few people watching. So today's video is for someone out there looking to buy, kind of like Lever Express Motion, especially a uh, lap of morning. Okay, I mean sometimes you're gonna come across great deal. Okay, great deal on local, you know, Craigslist or Facebook Marketplace. You're gonna see once in a while. You're gonna see pretty good deal. But if you're looking to buy Lapaboni, make sure, okay, you know what you are getting into. So I have Lapaboni uh, pre-millennium, okay, which means this, so this is a build uh, before 2020. Uh, I believe this is built in early 90s, okay. And I'm gonna shout out to our friend at Coffee Sensor Tutor, uh, set me up with some upgrades, okay, up upgraded parts. So pretty much this is <clears throat> pre decked out, okay. Even with all the upgrades I have, okay, I have the heat sink. Okay, hold on, gonna bring you guys a little closer. Okay, hopefully, you guys can see it. So, I have the heat sink, I have the temperature gauge as well, so I can and see what's the temperatures. And also, I have the uh, so this is called air buster, okay, uh, bleed out the, all the empty air as well. And then I have the pressure gauge top of it. I have uh, IMS uh, sh uh, shower screen and bottomless pore filter as well. So I mean, this is pretty much good as get. Okay, and I'm gonna share with you. I'm gonna show you the workflow, and let's pull the shot. Okay, and then this is something you guys might want to buy. Okay, and then because all the new ones are great, by the way. Uh, Amigo post premillennial. So this is a 49 millimeter uh, pore filter, and the new ones are 51. Uh, they're fantastic, okay? And also uh, the bigger water chamber as well, big, bigger group head, okay? So you can fill more water into it, which means you're gonna have a more yield, okay? So, I mean, my, again, I mean, if you can get the post, uh, post uh, millennium, the Lapamoni, I think uh, that's what I recommend. But if you're pre-millennium, year before year 2000, make sure to do your research before, okay? Make sure to do your research before you invest time and money because pulling a shot from Lapaboni is not easy. I've been using it for, gosh, about four years now, okay? Four years. I mean, I use it pretty much daily, okay? I pretty much daily. So, you know, I mean, I, I like to put at least one shot, okay, every single day to kind of like, you know, practice, okay, practice there, so, but again, uh, we'll see, okay, I'm gonna pull the shot here, and uh, I pulled the shot the other day, it wasn't that great, okay, and uh, by the way, if you are thinking about buying a lap of money for your light roast, uh, you might want to think twice about it, because this, I mean, again, built in 90s, right, and the lap of money be around, what, since 70s? At the time, there's no whole lot of light roast. You know, light roast wasn't that popular. So, so it's more designed to my classic Italian style. Okay. So I have the Neapolitan coffee from uh, Good Brothers Coffee there. Uh, dark chocolate, sweet, and creamy. It's dark chocolate, guys. It's not the milk chocolate, but yeah. I mean, it still should be good. Okay. Uh, again, 49 millimeter pore filter. There is a IMS basket for like uh, 18 gram, okay? I know you can get one for like 20 gram. 
you can get the 20 gram baskets as well but thing is the problem is again the water chamber it doesn't fill up enough okay so it can be re really challenging at a time at the time okay right now I'm at about 72 Celsius there I'm just gonna flush a little bit okay I'm just gonna give it a little quick flush you, you see that coming down the air is uh, discharging right now on the air bubble you know maybe I can show you guys the underneath here okay uh, hold on give you guys a close look yeah let me remove the water filter yeah I mean this is pretty cool to watch here we go just make sure watch out for the how fast the stream is going to be right there you see that they're really really powerful okay that's another reason I like to use the paper on the top as well I know some of you use the uh, puck screen for lap of boning I'm, I'm just gonna use my paper so I usually put the paper on the bottom and the top okay but if you don't want to do that you know you can skip the bottom okay if you don't want to you can just skip the bottom there all right I think uh, I'm at about 83 Celsius the reason why this is the most difficult uh, level motion to use because it's all, all about the, the managing the heat heat management okay thermal management because there is no PID okay I'm just gonna shut it off for a little bit okay getting too hot right now these are all getting too hot so you don't want to have if it, water is too hot your coffee taste it's gonna be really bitter okay that's the reason why okay right now I'm at about about 90 Celsius there so I think that's pretty good temperature for duck roast okay I don't want to go way too high all right, look like Elliot just ordered the S work for uh, 49 millimeter, 58 to 49. Okay, got gotcha. you. Okay, so S work makes pretty nice puck screen. Uh, grinder, I'm gonna be using the Gen 2 for DF64. Again, great thing about the Gen 2 DF64, I don't have to worry about RDT. Okay, All right, I'm just gonna put some coffees in. you see that it's pretty cool it's all about time it's all about time you know entry level grinder with you know uh, anti-static built in I mean even P64 that's almost two grand and that does not have anti-static built in either I mean so do my Capitec MC5 same thing as well it'd be nice to, it'd be really nice to add it you know anti-static on those those high-end grinders goodness I mean they are that's not cheap okay those grinders are not cheap okay let's do some little bit of puck prep okay if it comes to puck prep okay there's no lot of tools out there for 49 millimeter I mean, they got some okay I know a coffee sensor makes a lot okay but if you're looking for a little bit of affordable uh, not a whole lot of options out there I'm just gonna go hopefully you guys can see it okay. so that's it right here I'm just gonna do some little bit of you know I forgot to put the bottom paper but I think I'm gonna put definitely put on the top okay just gonna go like this a little bit of WDT just like that see this is 14 gram okay and then with the dark roast it's gonna be overflowing I'm just gonna clean up for a second here yeah this is maybe too much maybe I need to go down about 13 gram next time because the dark roast has a lot more volume to it is it lighter okay so okay here we go I'm just gonna go temp 
make sure nice and flat I'm gonna add my paper on the top there so pucks ready okay I'm just gonna do one more time okay we're good to go all right I'm gonna turn back on the machine I'm at about almost 90 Celsius okay I'm at almost 90 Celsius there hold on a second here guys let me flip the camera for you guys there's a lot of different methods out there okay I mean you guys hear the terms called like Flinny double Flinny a lot here's what I'm gonna do and I usually weight my shot but not today I'm, I'm actually you know what let's use a scale yeah why not okay I'm just gonna lock it in go all the way lock it in tight okay there we go guys I'm just gonna lift it first you hear that so I'm just kind of like with the internal pressure okay to kind of like uh, saturate the puck right now and if you guys are going to see some drops of espresso so that's a good time to pull I'm just wait at the moment nothing yet okay nothing yet I'm just gonna have a little patience with it okay uh, it's not coming out which means uh, my grind size is too fine okay. I'm just gonna give it a little push right now okay not yet there we go I got some coffee coming out at the moment Now I'm gonna give it a good push here. I'm looking at the pressure gauge as well. Take my time. 14 gram. So I'm go I'm trying to shoot for about 28 gram. Okay. again the problem is the you don't have enough water in the chamber okay sometimes we go it's called double flinning and then we're gonna do one more time you're gonna refill the water chamber there there we go so now we have about 30 gram, 1 to 2 ratio. I'm just going to shut it off for a second. So this is a Lapaboni with a double Flinny technique. Okay. Again, there's a lot of different techniques out there, but okay. let's try this. Let's try this cut. I mean it is very crucial by the way it is very crucial to get the grind size right okay make sure you get the grind size right uh, you're gonna all the way lift up get the water chamber as well I know some people out there modify the piston the length of it you can just even more into the group chamber so I mean you can do a lot of modification on Lapuboni but again uh, if you are just getting into coffee 
like newbies. I mean, it's not it's not a good motion to start with. Okay, let's try this. Cheers. Dark chocolate, creamy. I mean, that's all you can ask for. Okay, for this machine. You know, that's it. I mean, it's not. You know what? I I, I imagine. In, uh, so I don't know when exactly Lapomoni came out. I, I imagine fifties or sixties. Uh, I think I believe they have a different name back then. Okay, hold on. Let's see here. Okay, first. Okay, I'm just. Okay, I'm just gonna try to figure out when they came out. Okay, let's see here. 1905, guys. 1905. Goodness, I was way off. I, I thought they built in 70s, but yeah, 1905. Okay, 1905. Goodness, they came out 1905. They came up uh, this left bony machine. So, wow. I guarantee you, back then there's no specialty coffee, guys. Okay, there's no light roast back then. Yeah, I mean, they want to just get a good, you know, I bet you this cup right now, 1905, it's pretty good. Okay, I'd say beyond. Okay. Now comes the steam. I'm just going to turn back on here. Uh, steam is also fantastic as well. And you can actually brew. Uh, you, you can actually make some really nice cappuccino too. Okay. Hold on, I'm just going to show you guys. Hopefully you guys can see this. I mean, look at the uh, steam power. Okay. It's pretty good as well. It's pretty nice. Okay. Pretty nice too. So, okay. The reason why I put the paper, and let me show you why I put the paper first. Uh, the paper actually help reduce the the, the coming down from the uh, group head, the power there. I mean, because they're very very violent. Okay. Right now, whenever you open, right after Photoshop, be very gentle. Okay. Do not rush it. All right, just be gently, because they got all the pressure built up. You guys can hear all the hissing sound. Yep. Make sure be careful. Do not open too fast. There we go. Still, I can hear it. I'm just gonna wait a little bit. I feel like it's gonna be a pop. Okay, it's gonna be a pop. I'm just gonna wait a little bit. Okay. All right, hold on a second here. We got we got some few people joining us right now. Shout out to Joe. Hey Joe, I'm telling you, Gen Two is DF sixty four Gen Two is quite nice. Okay, I have to say. Okay. Well, I, I really like the the anti static. There we go. This is why, I mean, I put the paper on the top so it's reduced the, kind of like coming down from the water there. Let me show you guys one more time. L look at the very violent. You see that? that? That's really harsh, okay? That's the reason why. Put something on, okay? Something on. Like, paper's good. I know a lot of people use the uh, puck screen as well, okay? Puck screen. Let's see here. What else? Uh, 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 hold on a second. Hey, Joe, are you planning on put the plasma generator on DF64V? Okay, <clears throat> I'm trying to ask Joe here. I mean, I don't know. Some of you saw my DF64V. There's a variable speed, RPM. Man, I'm, I'm having a lot of issues with uh, static, especially I'm living in Arizona, a very dry place. So with the DF64V, that's must, okay? RDT is must. But, but I mean, if you can, uh, Joe, if you can come up with DF64V, if you can install the plasma generator on it, it's gonna be, it's gonna be spectacular, okay? 
It's going to be spectacular there. But with the Gen 2, I mean, as you saw, I think some of you saw the video this morning. Man, I mean, they're they are pretty cool. Very nice grinder. Okay, very interesting. And, you know, if you guys want to upgrade birds, I mean, goodness, you are, you are set there. Okay, Shana is asking about the, where is the Simer cast? Uh, we are here, buddy. We are here. Okay, so Joe says, uh, trying to find a way. Magnetic shoot doesn't work that well with it. Um, maybe skip the magnetic shoot. Okay, I'll just put some plastic on. You can maybe can add it. Okay, I mean, the plastic, the magnetic shoot is nice, but again, uh, it gets really messy. Okay. I mean, I can't even imagine if you, uh, if you come up with a DF64V with anti-static built-in, man, that, uh, that could be a game changer. Okay, for sure. All right, could be a game changer. Let's see here, what else? I think we are, again, uh, let me know in the comment section as well, okay? How many people are actually looking to buy some kind of lever machine, okay? Some kind of lever machine. Uh, I mean, if you're thinking about buying one, uh, get the post mill, okay, not the pre mill. Get the post mill, it'd be a lot more stable. Yeah, a lot more stable. Let's see here, what else? We got the friends from Berzum as well, and the John is asking about the, uh, the mon uh, Monument Express Machine. Okay, that's a, a James Hopman did it this morning, but I, mean, I, I, mean, I have looked at that coffee machine a while back. I did reach out to them. They said they're gonna give me some discount on it, but I, <laughs> I said no, thank you. You know, goodness. Uh, that is plus they have 55 millimeter poly filter as well. I mean that's one thing. You know, so this is a 49. Okay, it's an art. You know, but there's a lot of tools out there. Okay, but 55 millimeter. If you are spending twenty thousand dollars, I don't know. I mean, I mean if I'm spending twenty grand, you know, I I want to have some options to get some nice tools. Okay, I mean, I, I was looking at the James's video, the poly filter, you know, just like, you know, regular poly filter with the wooden handles on it. So, yeah, if you're spending that kind of money, I, I want something a little nicer. But yeah, again, I mean, that machine, I mean, looks really cool. Okay, I mean, that's kind of like statement piece, right? You know, I bet you can get a better machine for a lot cheaper, for sure. Okay, a lot cheaper, for sure. Okay, uh, let's see. Uh, Carlos here, how about using the anti-static film plastic? I don't know what that is. I never used that before. The, the thing, thing about the plasma generator, you don't have to do anything. You just push the button and that's it. Just like Fella Ogen 2 has anti-static built in as well. There's only two grinder I know, okay? Two grinder, okay? So Fella Ogen 2 has uh, anti-static. That's what, $350 grinder. We have a, a DF64 Gen 2, not the, okay, Gen 2, has a built-in uh, plasma generator. That's $400, that's it. Okay, that's $400 grinder, all right? And there any other grinders out there, there's no anti-static. Capitec MC5, there's no anti-static built-in. RDT, so you have to use your screw bottle. Same as the P64. Same as the Weber, okay, the EG1, the $4,500 grinder there, same thing. I mean, come on, okay, I think, I think, I think it's the time, okay, I think it's time to get, people get the, get the, uh, you know, uh, get the message, okay, it'd be nice to start adding the anti-static, all right. Okay, hold on. Mr. Rainbow said $5,000 more didn't get the custom WD2 tools. Yep. Okay, we have a uh, Lagoon 01 is going to have static reduction installed. Okay. But that's like, that's $3,000 coffee grinder. Okay, so Lagoon 01 has a, and, yep, static reduction, yeah. So that's $3,000 grinder there. So I hope, yeah. Hopefully they're going to have some something nice. Let's see here. What else? I think we are good, right? Again, uh, if you are thinking about buying a lever machine, especially a Lapaboni, do your homework, guys. Okay, like I say, just make sure. Uh, if you're gonna get one, uh, get the post. So which means after 2000, okay? 
not before. Premio is, like you saw, it's a little bit more tricky. You have to know what you're doing, okay? I'm still learning after three, four years. So uh, you gotta just make sure you play with the grind size. Yeah, there's a lot to it. But, I mean, if this is the only machine you have at home, I mean, it's not gonna take that long to learn, okay? Because this is the only machine. You know, I mean, for me, I mean, I have a quite a few machines here, so I can play with other machines. So, you know, that's the reason why I gotta use it. You know, so I don't, I don't forget how to use it. But yeah, but if you, if this is the only machine you have, I think you're gonna be fine. But uh, again, if you wanna buy, get the post mill. Okay, get the post mill there. I think it is, has better, kind of like better everything. Let's put it that way. Okay, better heat management, even with my heat sink on. Okay, I mean this is kind of like good as get. Okay, so imagine if not having this, uh, it's gonna get really, it gets really hot really fast. Okay, so anyway, I, I hope you guys having a wonderful Thursday afternoon, and I'll be back tomorrow. Okay, I'll be back tomorrow. We're gonna uh, we're gonna figure something out tomorrow. I don't know what we're gonna talk about, but we will. All right, guys, see you next time.